In this video, we demonstrate a multimodal conversational agent built using OpenCHA. This agent identifies emotional signals and speech patterns to provide context-aware and empathetic verbal responses. Let's start by looking at two scenarios where a user asks a question to our conversational health agent, one in a sad tone and the other in a happy tone. In the first scenario, the user poses a question with a sad tone. We'll observe how our agent tailors its response to match the user's emotional state. I've been seeing these streams for some time. One minute I would feel happy and very motivated, but the other time I find myself sad, angry, or thinking about the future and many other things. What should I do? I'm sorry to hear that you're having a difficult time. It sounds like you may be experiencing a range of emotions that can be overwhelming. It's important to reach out for support. And in this example, the response is delivered in a voice format. Recognizing the user's sad tone, the agent provides more direct assistance, potentially due to the urgency of the help needed. The response carefully avoids recommendations that could be harmful, focusing instead on conveying a sense of companionship. In the second scenario, the user poses the same question but with a happy tone. Let's see how our agent responds accordingly. I'm experiencing mood swing for some time. One minute I feel happy and very motivated, but the other time I feel sad, angry, or think about the future and many other things. What should I do? It sounds like you're experiencing mood swings, which are sudden changes in how you feel. They can be caused by changing levels of brain chemicals. In this response, you'll notice that the tone is more positive and motivational compared to the previous one. Our agent aims to offer additional information and support, helping the user understand the possible reasons behind the situation more thoroughly. But how exactly do we build an LLM-based agent that dynamically adjusts its responses according to the user's tone? The OpenCHA framework provides us the essential tools to achieve this goal. This is the architecture of the agent used in this demo. Using the OpenCHA framework, we integrate a large language model with speech-to-text, speech-emotion detection, internet search, and text-to-speech tools to create the responses. Here, the orchestrator analyzes input queries and plans how to interact with each component to gather the information needed to generate the response. Now, let's examine the OpenCHA logs to understand how the various components of our agent's orchestrator functioned. The process begins with the task executor converting the user's audio into text that you can see the result. This text is then passed to the Tree of Thought Planner, which proposes three strategic task sequences. For instance, the first strategy involves extracting the user's emotion from the audio, using that emotion to guide a Google search to find coping methods for mood swings, and then extracting relevant information from the resulting websites. The pros and cons of each strategy are evaluated, and you can see these assessments. Ultimately, the planner chooses a strategy based on these evaluations, in this case, the second strategy is selected. The resulting generated code for execution shows the utilization of the extracted emotion in the Google search query. You can observe the tasks carried out by the task executor and their outputs highlighted in pink. For instance, the result from the emotion extraction task indicates happy. Afterward, the information collected by the planner is forwarded to the response generator, which prepares the final response. Ultimately, the task executor converts this final text response back into voice form. Conversational agents have the capacity to use multimodal data to generate responses, so they act better at showing empathy than regular text-based LLM bots. This integration of conversational agents and multimodal offers a promising avenue towards revolutionizing human-computer interaction. 
This demo only uses voice and chatbots to make them more empathetic. But, this can be extended to other modalities such as gestures through video recognition, contextual understanding, or even physiological biomarkers like heart rate variability.